Hey, what's up guys? This is Scott Conrad with a impromptu episode of Organic Alley. I was a little tired and bummed today. It was a good day, but I got $1,000 stolen out of my car last night. I left the door unlocked. You know, it wasn't wide open or anything. I guess somebody rolled by 2, 3 a.m. Ooh, this door's open. Ooh, console. Ooh, my dirty butt and shoulders stains all over your seat. I had my rent money in my console. Should have gone to the bank Saturday. I was busy. Hopefully he does something with that money to better his life or her life. Trying to be all equal here, you know. I started with I was gonna just chill out, maybe buy something tonight, but the point of that was I got $1,000 stolen from me and I'm trying to save some money. You know, $1,000 gone, but it's just money. I went to work, I kind of sulked a little bit and then I just changed my mindset and just realized how grateful I was to have my health, to have my beautiful daughter, to have awesome parents that would help me out, have this new YouTube channel and growing this beautiful community. Thanks, I'm already up to like 10 subscribers in a couple days, so that's awesome. I love you guys. I can't wait till you start commenting and we can get some back and forth going. If you have any questions or want to ask me anything, just comment on the video. If I connect with it and think it's really interesting, I'll talk about it on the show. And you know, I just want to grow this community of awesome people who want to just make themselves better in every way, eat awesome food along the way, and feel like the best version of ourselves all the time. So this is gonna be like a, a dry grain prep episode. I'm not gonna cook a meal, although after I prep tonight, I'm gonna cook a meal for myself, but the lighting's not really good at night, so I'm gonna save the good recipe for tomorrow morning when the lighting's really good and I'm feeling fresh, have a lot of energy after my morning yoga, or if the waves are good, I might go surf again. You just gotta do something in the morning, like just 10 minutes of yoga. You just have to get at least 10 minutes where you can connect with your breath, slow your mind down, slow your thoughts down, and your day will just fall into place after that. You just gotta get connected to the here and now. I have some wild rice, I have some quinoa, I bought some, I had to look it up on the internet, I forgot what they were, it's mung beans. So I looked them up, it's a good idea to sprout mung beans, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm sprouting mung beans. I'm gonna do that overnight and I'm gonna show you how I cook quinoa in the rice cooker, steamer, which I'm gonna put a link right down here. I'm gonna put this link in a lot of videos because you guys, if you don't have a rice cooker, you're making your life a lot more difficult than it needs to be. I'm telling you, set it and forget it. I've watched a couple of these YouTube cooking channels with uh, some people that have 400 plus thousand subscribers and they're still cooking quinoa in a regular pan. It's just a lot harder, you have to do a lot more, more stirring, and the rice cooker, especially if you're a busy person, even if you're not busy, it just comes out perfect every time, and once you learn that ratio for the wild rice, quinoa, jasmine rice, brown rice, they all have different ratios. Some people like it a little more dense, some, some people like it a little more soft. You really have to learn for yourself because that's what I'm trying to teach here. We're trying to not use recipes anymore, just use our mind and intuition, okay? So if you're ever tired from a long day at work, get inverted. That's the best advice I can give you guys. You can stretch, do push-ups, all these things help, but if you want an energy boost, I call it like a, a free Red Bull, just get inverted. 
You want to see me do a handstand? All right, you guys ready? Oh, my foot hit something. <laughs> oh, this is sketchy. <sighs> Breathe. All right, coming down. Whoa. Feeling all lightheaded. Woo. Feels good though. Get inverted, all right? I'm telling you, free Red Bull. If you think you're tired and you don't have the energy to cook at night, get upside down. I'm gonna flash up a couple pictures of easy variations of that. I know not everybody's gonna do a full on handstand in the kitchen, cause that takes a little practice and a lot of organa Cali tacos and green smoothies and curry soup coming up tomorrow, all right? <laughs> that takes a couple years of that or maybe six months if you dedicate yourself and become a super passionate health yoga well-being nut, which I hope you do. I didn't quite go that fast. I uh, took more of a slow, gradual way towards it, but um, yeah, gung-ho. You can do stuff in a matter of months. You can do whatever you want in a matter of months. Enough talking already, Scott. Let's do this. You can see here that I started soaking these mung beans. I got my rice cooker, need to get one of these things. Lifesaver, set it and forget it. I already made this brown wild rice. It's already done. You can see, got a spoon in there, been munching some. Just spray a little of this guy on there, the Braggs, and uh, so much better for you than soy sauce. Just, I'll throw up the nutritional benefits right now. Check it out. And here's the mung beans in here. I can't really tilt them because they just turn black. But these these are small green beans that I looked up and it's really good to sprout these things. I read when they're sprouted, they digest better. They digest themselves easier. They help with your general digestion. It's just easier for your body to accept the nutrients and better when you sprout it. Normally I don't sprout things, but I'm doing a few things right now, so might as well start experimenting. I have a show now. All right, so I'm gonna take a spoonful of this. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, so quinoa. Got this from the dry bulk section at the grocery store. Cheaper, organic, better quality all around. You're gonna be paying probably five bucks a box if you got this stuff boxed up at Whole Foods, but I got this thing filled up to here for probably four bucks, and this is, you know, still quite a bit left. Fill up a cup, and we're just gonna pretty much eyeball it, do a little closer measuring since you guys are watching and trying to teach you the right consistency. Get the mason jar, has the measurements on the side. How much should we do? Well, quinoa, when you cook it and put it in the fridge, it lasts a long time, like almost two weeks. So might as well just do it all and throw it in stuff for the next four or five days, so let's see, that's a little over 16 ounces, so 16 ounces, like I said, I usually just lift this thing out and then eyeball it with the water. Since you guys are watching, I'm gonna try and give you a number for a good medium consistency. That was a little over 16 ounces, so quinoa, most websites say do double, like that would be 32 ounces, but I like my quinoa not that mushy, so probably closer to 28 ounces. 
So I'm going to take this guy over to my fresh water dispenser and fill it up. It's 24 ounces right here. It says 24 ounces right here. So I figure 28 should be pretty much to the brim. So 16 ounces of quinoa, almost double. All right, there it is, filled to the brim. Got little, little floaters, little particles floating around in there. Just pour that in. So once again, 16-ish ounces of quinoa, 28-ish ounces, a little less than double. So that's gonna make, like I said, not a mushy quinoa or a hard quinoa, but somewhere right in the middle. It's all about balance, trying to find that true line. It's like that with everything in life. Like I said, if you made this in a pan, I would tell you to stir it and this and that and this and that, but we're using a rice cooker, so boom, set it and forget it. I hope that term is not copyrighted because I love saying it and I'm not gonna stop saying it. Take me to court, let's go. Let's go, bro. So yeah, we're gonna get back to these mung beans soaking overnight. Gonna soak them for 12 hours. It's nine o'clock at night right now. So in the morning, whenever I wake up, it doesn't exactly have to be nine, but it says change the water, have them soak two to three more hours, change the water, and then repeat that maybe two more times. And then by the end of tomorrow, they should already start sprouting. And then four to five days is the max that you should have them sprout. So let's see how they look tomorrow night. And then we'll go from there. And this wild rice we're gonna use in our delectable red lentil veggie curry insane soup that it's gonna have, you know, 20 ingredients probably like everything I cook. The more the better. But this is already gonna be cooked, so we're gonna make this soup in probably 15 or 20 minutes max. And then we can throw some quinoa in there too. There's gonna be a lot of intensely nutritious ingredients in this soup tomorrow. And it's gonna be on fire. It's gonna be cheap, fast, organic, and healthy AF. Peace guys, I love you. One love. Ah, I just saw a quote that was dangling on my window earlier. One of those Yogi T quotes. I haven't read it yet. Let's read it together. Live through consciousness, not through emotion. The lighting is killing this right now. I'm gonna throw that one up on the quote of the day box. That's a good one. Live through consciousness, not through emotion. I'm so glad this quote fell right now because it applies to exactly the story I was telling you guys earlier about the money getting stolen out of my car. You know, if I lived through emotion, I would still be really bumming about that. I probably wouldn't have had a nice surf session. I probably wouldn't have made this video. I just changed my attitude because I was using my awareness, consciousness, realized what I was grateful for and that I was still so lucky just to be here. A thousand dollars is just a number. Like, it's money, you know? If you're doing everything right in your life, more money's gonna come to you without you worrying about it. So. I realized what I was grateful for through consciousness, not through emotion, getting sad about it. And I'm having an amazing night. I made this video, so stoked to share this video with you guys. It's kind of what I wanna do, just get more comfortable in front of the camera, talk to you like you're in the kitchen with me. So if the thousand dollars didn't get stolen last night, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now and you wouldn't know how to sprout mung beans, make the perfect quinoa, or get updated on my amazing curry soup that we're gonna cook tomorrow. So I'm a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. Even if it's the smallest things, 
everything means something and you have to appreciate the highs and the lows and everything in between. It all helps you to find that balance. And the more you're in this area, whew, yeah, if you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys know what I'm talking about in this area. A lot of you guys are here, get, get taste, ooh, taste, ooh, taste, ooh, ooh, taste, ah, uh, ooh. But the better you get, healthier you eat, the more in tune you get with your body, mind, soul, yoga, ocean, nature, ooh. Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs>